TV10 and WRNR are proud to bring you this episode of Law Enforcement Live, recorded the 15th of September, 2020. Thank you to Berkeley County Sheriff Curtis Keller for allowing us to give you this day in the life of a law enforcement officer. This episode will feature two investigations. Law Enforcement Live is filmed live with the men and women of law enforcement. All participants in tonight's show are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. Times I've been here, the management hadn't been in, so nobody was able to give me the video. But we'll see. Got it or not? No, we've just <laughs> been really busy lately. Really it hasn't been anything real serious, but it's just a bunch of holes. Mm -hmm. I put my email out there, so they're not going to go with me, probably not. Yeah, so you're fine. So, what I'll do, and then can you put the date on there again so that way I can put all the information in there? It was on the 7th, at 156. It'll actually be able to be the one that actually put everything in for a little bit of story. At least it could vary on it. That's the time that my guy's bank told him that someone needs it. Okay. So, All right. Gotcha. All right, thank you. Have a great one. You too. Okay, so we came here because um, I had a gentleman come to me last week. Um, he thought he had misplaced his debit card at first. And then after telling his bank that he lost it and requesting a new one, they contacted him and told him that somebody else made a transaction with it here at this gas station for about $200. So we're just trying to figure out who had his card and who spent his money. alarm going off. Really? Yeah. All my keys are in my pocket. I might have hit the button leaning yeah. over the truck working on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's your silent one. 
<laughs> Didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> I'm sorry, that button's been getting me in trouble. <laughs> See, the alarm company's supposed to call you and make sure everything's all right, but I guess they didn't do that, did they? Well, I'm underneath the hood of this truck. My phone's in the house. Ah, uh, well, that's too, then. <laughs> but everything here is all right. I'm going to get out of your hair. All right, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, you're fine. You have a good night. You can tell I've been to a few of these before. <laughs> I would say. It's pretty funny. It's husband and wife right there in the driveway. Had no clue. Facial hair. Left in front of the house. One two six one Cedar Lane. And we're headed there, twenty one Cedar Lane. Or it'll be in the area of Foreman Road off of Fun Fun Road. Yeah. Okay, one eleven. Fifty five or ten nine seven. Probably on fifty five. Hello. Hello. Okay, I'll call you back. Yeah. Hey, you the yeah. Come sit down. Yeah, so what's going on? The, that right there at the corner of that white car. Never talked to that dude before in my life. I had, you know, I had the yeah, I had my daughter and her two friends were down here, and he just pulls up, stops, starts taking pictures of. Is he like a guest or? No, he lives there. He's an older man. I, I, you know, I've never talked to him to the point where he knows my daughter enough to where he thought he'd be able to take a picture of her. Mm -hmm. So instead of me going over there and doing something stupid. Yeah, I can talk to him. Do you know what his name is? I don't. Okay. So what, did he come over here in his car or on foot? No, he was driving. He drove right here in front of these lines. They were sitting right here, and he just started taking pictures. I didn't even say anything to the kids. I saw it, and I was like, what the f mm -hmm. They came to me and said that man was taking pictures of us. All right. You know if he's home still? Oh, he's yeah, he just got there. All right. I'll go talk to him, see okay. what his deal is. much yelling in there yeah. for me to talk to you. What's the camera about? Oh, he's just with uh, 
TV See here, 10. they're down there throwing rocks. And so I got that car right there and they've already hit, somebody hit my car. Hmm. You know, and, and that's a leased car and I have to pay it when I take it back. And so, where'd it go? I said, I'm gonna get their picture so I can identify them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but what? you understand why he's a little up, he, upset because he didn't know any of this went on. He thought you were just taking pictures of his kids to take pictures of his well, kids. Well, you know, that's, that's not against the law to take pictures, is it? Well, it's a little disturbing for someone you don't know to take pictures of your children. Who, who's, well, who's reporting me? The guy across the street? Yeah. That's ridiculous. I've, I've been here for 20 years. Yeah. I mean, come on. I so what you need to do is when that happens, when they're throwing rocks at your car, it's just now, I mean, They weren't us. throwing rocks in my car. You saw the picture. They were down there. Okay. And I wanted to identify the three. So I took a picture because I was on my way to the Bible study over there at the church. Mm. And um, so I took a picture. I'm recovering from surgery, so excuse me. Mm -hmm. no, Did I you report it to the HOA? I'm not reporting anything to the HOA, don't these do nothing. These houses have been getting egged. But the thing is, she just scared me to death on laying there. You, you take a picture of that she sign. She comes in screaming. That sign. I'm just going to rush that. It's a little bit. The lights don't work. I'm reporting that to the HOA. Why would I put report anything else? <coughs> I'm going to have to run for the HOA, and then I'll straighten some of this stuff out. But as You'll far as that guy that goes, I don't blame him for being upset, but he did he have a problem? <laughs> Has he had a problem? Who are you? I'm, I'm with him. TV 10. TV 10? Mm -hmm. This isn't going on. Oh, for crying out no. loud, what no. is this? But if he had a problem, he should have said, neighbor should. He, I speak to him all the time. He should have said, well, you oh take a picture gosh. of my daughter for I didn't even know it was his daughter. Yeah, he was just. I don't to, care who he is. He was just trying to play it the safe way. We have, have a right to take pictures and have kids. Well, you know what? You got there enough on your plate. There's a lot of plate. stuff going on in this neighborhood. No, you got enough on your plate. They just. That male was taking pictures of the children because he believes that they're responsible for throwing rocks at his car earlier. I advise him not to do that. To delete the pictures and contact us in the event that that should happen again. Advise both parties of options 98 and report.